Hello my soccer universe. Yes, the first school day here in Austria is a load of work. Uh, not only do you have to go to school with your kid and then it's all done very soon, but you also have to go to a parents evening. And so my idea of shooting two videos the evening to get a little bit ahead, um, yeah, was not quite happening. So I had to make a decision. Do I do Serie A first or uh, do I do Premier League? first and given that i have seen more highlights of the premier league i decided to go that way and i hope i will have enough time tomorrow i am afraid i have to keep it short for the other two because there's quite some work to do to be honest so yeah let's see crystal palace i thought it's about time to uh, they had a remarkable result and another london derby they started the season with four london derbies <laughs> crazy stuff and yeah, so uh, I'm not sure how often I will be wearing Crystal Palace this season, so you gotta grab the opportunities when you can, like with the other leagues. Um, and I have to say, I'm shooting this now while Everton and Burnley are still playing. So whatever I'm talking now is based on that, but you will get here the full results and all the calculations and tables and so on at the end they are all then uh, stayed after that game so i will run this pro uh, pro probably evening or early in the morning uh to have these numbers correct so while you have the results here i also want to spend a little bit of time of summarizing the transfer window as i did for in the other videos so far and yeah the premier league PSG aside, it was all about the Premier League, this try, try, try transfer window. And the weird thing is that for most of the time it was about all the great players that Manchester City is going to sign. And they got Jack Grealish done relatively soon. And then it was Will Harry, Harry Kane, that was kind of the big transfer saga come and then suddenly he's not coming, nothing's happening, a lot of blah blah blah. And then, yeah, maybe we can get Chris, Cristiano Ronaldo and BOOM! More or less the next day, Cristiano is at Manchester United, who probably had among all the teams in Europe the second best transfer window. Arguably the second best. Because you got Jaden Sancho, another deal that was done very, 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 very soon that has been loom looming around. So, uh, bright talent, although you have not. Um, reused him so far you got Rafael Varane from Madrid to kind of plug the holes in defense so I think this could work and with Cristiano Ronaldo up front you have a superstar that, levi that levitates your status back to actually where Manchester United should, should, should belong would have been nice to have a midfielder probably but you know uh, overall I think all three signings at least make some sense I argue the least sensical one in a way is Cristiano, but then when he does what he does at the weekend, we'll talk about him for sure. Uh, what can you argue with that signing? And as, as I said, the attention being put on United this, this way clearly make them a big winner. Uh, kind of a quiet transfer window for Chelsea for most of the time, who actually want to get Holland and suddenly, boom, Lukaku. And the Premier League got into a real arms race. You saw Jack Grealish going to City. City seemed to be levels above. You never knew. Liverpool was never really joining this arms race, but you knew they're getting good players back. So uh, we got we 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 gotta see if they still can conjure up the magic from 1920. Maybe may maybe not. I mean, you only got Konate from Leipzig and Chelsea knew that uh, the one thing that was really uh, amazing was a striker up front. With Lukaku, you got the perfect striker for that. And uh, also Inter very happy to getting his salary off and, and, and getting even quite some money for him. And so at this moment, you're really thinking of the top four, it's really hard to differentiate. I would still say City above the rest. I would give Chelsea still slightly the edge, but it's very tough between Chelsea, Liverpool and Manchester United. The rest of the league kind of, kind of, kind of falls off. Uh, interestingly, a team that had spent for a long time the most money was Arsenal, with getting Ben White from Brighton and uh, Martin Oedegaard for uh, fixed, but Arsenal is a teeny bit of a mess. But you know, all the top transfer that I'm looking here, they are all uh, acquisitions, not selling players as we had in the other leagues. So, 
Now you've stared, I've talked enough about the transfers and now you have been staring at the results. Uh, let's go a little bit through results from the weekend. And we had the weekend opening with a thumping of Spurs for, by Crystal Palace. As I said, fourth derby for, for Palace in a row. It has to be said that with all the players for Spurs missing, it probably was not the... It was not very indicative of the true strength that Spurs might have this season. It's still a pretty bad result uh, all overall and it was coming a whole long way. It needed a penalty 76 and Edouard came off and just within seconds scores one goal and then a second one to make it 3-0 at that point. Uh, Spurs, were already down, Spurs were already down to 10 men because Tanganga got sent off. Wouldn't you know it, Arsenal can win. A little bit messy, but they deserved Obama Young giving the win to Arsenal or over Norwich. Brighton continuing their great Griffin with a very late winner at Brentford. Um, Leicester City against Man City. Honestly, uh, the result is probably tighter than the game ever was. Uh, this was thorough dom domination by City left and right with Bernardo Silva scoring a great goal. Um, I think it should have been more. Uh, Leicester also having kind of a rough start to the season. However, all the headlines. I mean, that would have been the Leicester's Man City game. Would, would have been the big one to talk about. But all the headlines, it was all about Cristiano's comeback. And while I heard voices that said, you know, in his first game, maybe you don't start, so start him. Bring him on a little, little bit later there so they get all the ovation, blah, 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 blah. No, he didn't need that. Uh, Newcastle actually held tight and played it actually quite well as long as they had strength. But, you know, if you forget, if you... The first goal by Ronaldo, this was such a typically, typically, typically Ronaldo, Ronaldo where he just smells that the ball might find his way. The, uh, the, the cross comes in. It's not clear that the goalkeeper will punch punch away, but the way he jumps and it falls off the right in front of his leg, he makes it 1-0. Perfect de debut. As I said, Newcastle played it actually not that badly. Manquillo uh, actually gets it to 1-1. One, one. And then it's, I guess, a Luke Shaw uh, pass into Ronaldo. And he takes the goal. I think he goes through the legs of the goalie, make it 2-1. And then uh, all dams break loose, Newcastle tires. And United add two great, two more great goals. Fernandes with a great shot from the outside, sits by Pogba, and then uh, probably the best move uh, of the evening. In the, um, Paul Pogba and Van der Beek actually, Van der Beek having a, a, a big role in that. Uh, see the ball then ending up with Jesse Lingard who puts it in it. That was a really, really nicely played goal. However, everything's about Cristiano, 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 Cristiano. Um, Wolves also get a, a win, finally, uh, finally scoring goals. Um, Chelsea, Lukaku. It's all about Lukaku. Uh, <laughs> the, the, this one. He scores two goals. Uh, his first goals ever at Stamford for the bridge. Thoroughly do dominating Aston Villa, who Yes, had a good showing, but overall, uh, Chelsea is just full class. They never needed to get out of second gear in that in, in that one. And uh, there was also in the 49th, Kovacic added a goal uh, to make two to make two and stoppage time. Lukaku then for the third. So Chelsea also, as I said, plowing away. And the funny thing is that Liverpool just matched Chelsea. Uh, they still have the very very much the same re record. And one might actually get a little bit worried about Leeds these days because, you know, I uh, had a great season and now the teams figure them out. Yes, they had maybe a tough schedule, but Liverpool, you know, looked a little bit. It was a tight, uh, tight game, but then Salah uh, scores his 100th goal for Liverpool. Fabinho in the 50th as second, then a really horrible foul by uh, Stroik where Harvey Elliott had to come off. That was... Not pretty, pretty and money in stops so, 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 which I makes it 3 0. Liverpool seem to be also slightly gelling again. And with all these results as of now, we see suddenly United, Liverpool, Chelsea, Man City, all four are up top. Uh, Brighton and Spurs are also up there. And we have to see how, as I said, the other uh, Everton could also join and um, move into fourth spot. So you will see this now if they have or if they haven't. I will leave you with all the necessary statistics now.
that or to what happened in the Premier League this weekend or what do you think about the tra transfer or anything in general. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.